Hello there, this is Transformative. My name is Manny McLean, and with today is Christina Andrea. Uh, welcome back. Hi! <laughs> wonderful to see you again. It's wonderful to see you too. <laughs> uh, we are tackling the monologue Dandelion. And uh, I this is probably one of my favorite ones because it's very sweet and very genuine. And uh, how have you been feeling with it? Is there anything that's been really connecting with you? Um, honestly, so the last line of Dandelion has been connecting with me. Um, you can try to extinguish me, but I will grow and blossom and bring life into spaces that say that I don't belong. Um, I felt that <laughs> big time, <laughs> um, especially also being a new teacher. It's very new. So sometimes there's feelings where I'm like, do I really belong here? So I resonate a lot with that line, especially this week. This week is tough. I'm sorry to hear it's been tough, but I, I'm really excited to see what you've done with this. So yeah, when you're ready, good. feel free to, to dive in and we'll, we'll go over from the beginning. Yep, sounds good. All right, on your own time. When people ask me what my favorite flowers are, I think my answer surprises them. People expect for me to say a rose, a violet, an iris, not a weed. I did a flower horoscope once and it said that I was a dandelion. At first I was shocked, then offended, but then I thought about it. A dandelion can grow from almost anything. In my hometown, they would stretch fields and fields without hindrance. But the real miracle is that they can grow anywhere when they're not supposed to. We pave our streets, lay down with concrete for miles upon miles and attempt to stomp anything green and thriving. We, we seek to remove nature completely from our lives. We drive around and through these prisons of society that seek to displace us further. But even here, we find them sprouting from the cracks of sidewalks, from the sides of buildings where the smallest amount of dirt is exposed. They grow slowly, but they thrive wherever they're planted. <laughs> A dandelion can grow just about anywhere because it really doesn't need that much to thrive sunlight, water, and just enough of grounding to shoot itself up to the sky. It has a flexible stem, so that allows it to bend and adjust to the wind. It never breaks. It can be blown until it decides when it's ready. It goes up on its own terms and grows until it's ready to stop itself. I, I can see that it has beauty. I can see something that is overlooked and cast aside. Something that most people don't appreciate, but I know that it has incredible value. Maybe that's why I relate to it so strongly. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I'm good with, but I'm overlooked. But they don't realize that you can't stop me. I can grow anywhere. You can try to extinguish me, but I will grow and I will blossom and bring life into spaces that I don't belong. That's really beautiful. You. <laughs> Great job. I am really happy to see you have such a warmth that comes with this. Thank and you, you can really tell, uh, I can, knowing that you're a teacher now, I can really see that in the way that you're approaching this. I think that's a really sweetness. There's like a really sweet quality to it. Um, do you mind if I change one of the words? Because I realize that yeah. uh, this is something I didn't catch when I was reading it beforehand. But instead of you can try to extinguish me, because I just said grow before that, I'm going to change that. You can try to extinguish me, but I will prosper and blossom and bring life into spaces that say I don't belong. Just to kind of give you that little extra power moment, just to really kind of settle in and be like, yeah, this is me. This is what I'm doing. This is how I... This is how I approach it, how I go with it, so. Okay, I like that process. Yeah, I think that that's uh, a much more, uh, give you that little bit more power at the end to really kind of feel your energy, so. Okay, yeah. I like that vocabulary word too. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there was one uh, smudging of the lines. So yeah. uh, it has a flexible stem that allows it to bend and adjust to the wind. It never breaks. It can't be blown away until it decides it's ready. You said it can okay. be blown away. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the idea is that you will hold on until you're ready to move on. Like you, you can't be pushed around, can't be blown away until you decide that you're ready. So, okay, can't. Yeah. Okay, so make that, okay. Apart from that, uh, you're approaching this from a very lovely angle. I love to see uh, just how, are you talking to, uh, who did you decide on in terms of who you're talking to with this? Um, an old theater teacher I'm okay. speaking to. Yes. I did make that, I made that stamp actually the night that we did rehearse it the first time. Good. No, very good. And I think uh, one thing that's going to happen a little bit more is once you're standing, we'll be able to kind of feel that power a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of, uh, yeah, whenever there's something like that, there's really not pride, but you can really feel that there's like a fire in you that's just like, no, I know what I've done. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just the the ability to be and the ability to grow from there, I think is really good. Yeah, especially when you're standing, it's like standing is you're grounding, no pun intended, you're mm. grounding yourself. <laughs> so I definitely do think um, when standing, it will be really good and mm -hmm. playing around with the space too when we're once we're in there. Yeah, I love that you're taking your time with it. I love that you're letting the moments really speak for themselves. Uh, the one thing I might say is that I think you can have a little bit more warmth at the beginning. So mm -hmm. Uh, the fact that you're, it's like, I identify as a dandelion and everyone else is like, I'm a rose, I'm a violet, violet, whatever, whatever else you're, you're presenting something fairly unusual. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you can usually present a little bit of pride with that too. So okay. I think there's opportunities there for you to be, I'm this, I'm proud, I'm strong and I'm ready. And okay. yeah, I think there's a lot there that you can play with. So no, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful little little script for you. And you're doing a yes. really nice I, I'm very much enjoying playing with it. Um, I was I was playing with it actually right before we got on. I'm like, how do <laughs> I, what pause do I need? What do I need to emphasize this word? So I was very much playing with it. I've been playing with it for about this week, just getting it in, feeling it, doing it up on my feet too, um, just so I can feel that energy. Yeah. No, you're, you're bringing a really sweet and lovely energy to this. And it's really nice to see. And I think that there's going to be a lot of these monologues are very comedic and very zany. And yours is just without, no pun intended, yours is very grounded. Yours is very soft and beautiful. And the picture that you're painting here is almost like a Bob Rossian where it's comfortable, it's cozy. And just the way you're presenting it, your voice has a beautiful tone to it. And I can tell that there's a lot of warmth for what you're saying. I think it's really nice and you're doing a really good job of it, so. I appreciate that so much. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I, I'm very excited to see what you do with it uh, on its feet in the space. Just don't be afraid to really settle into it. Think of like your voice is honey. And as mm -hmm. such, you can have, mo you don't have to rush through things. Uh, there's a couple moments where you're going a little quick. Don't be afraid to just breathe. Even if after the end of, uh, if there's certain points where you just want to take a breath and be like, and this is, it's it's a comfort piece and you can kind of provide that comfort to the audience. And when you breathe, the audience has permission to breathe as well. So you can really let that wash over them in a very interesting way. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. I could definitely do that. Yeah. yeah. The one thing I always, I do talk about in that in every monologue, there's always a turn where the intention changes mm -hmm. and like where it kind of goes. This one's a little bit more poetic, mm -hmm. but you do do all these things about the dandelion. And then at the end, it's definitely you're talking about yourself. You're you're mm -hmm. pointing it out and then you spell it out very plainly. Maybe that's why I relate to it so strongly. Uh, my question for you would be where in that last section uh, where do you start to realize that you are the dandelion, that you identify with it so strongly? I think finding that one specific point 
will really help to give you that turn, will really help to give you that, uh, I've take, I've carried it this far and now I'm going to let it breathe and now I'm gonna do more. Yeah, I think that that's gonna really yeah. benefit you, but there's, no, it's a beautiful piece and you're doing a great job. Um, did you want me to answer the question of where, because I actually do have an, I thought where I change it into myself. Sure, where, um, where do you currently have it? The line where it goes on its own terms and grows where it's ready to let itself stop. I that's feel like great. that's definitely, oh, I'm I'm no longer talking about a flower. I'm talking about myself. Like I grow on my own terms and I stop when I want to stop. So I feel like that's when it starts to transition to myself. No, I think that that's a great place to put it. I think that that's perfect. It The intention's clear. I think that what you're doing there, you're presenting it well and yeah, just don't be afraid to take that moment to be like, huh. And then, you know, continue. But just have that moment to really be like, that. I'm satisfied now. I know what I've done. I know where I've come from. Now I can present this and be proud. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's just a really, a, a lot of sweetness to this one. And it, you're doing a really good cool. job of gathering and, and presenting that in a really lovely way. Thank you so much. You've been a great director. Even though it's been <laughs> like two rehearsals, I've pulled out a lot of information from the first rehearsal, which made me grow more with this monologue. So now I'm just going to keep pulling out more and get ready for Friday. Yeah, that's 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 all I could ask for. But no, it's it's really lovely. And I think that I can't wait to see you on stage. And I can't wait to meet you. Yes. I mean, it's only two days away. So it's crazy. Yes, and it'll be a Friday. <laughs> yes. The weekend. We're, we're not sleeping that night. It's going to be an all night sort of thing. <laughs> oh no, I saw it. It said, uh, the call time threw me off. It said 10. I was like, 10 a.m.? No, no, it can't be 10 a.m. I have work. And no. I'm like, no, it said 8.30 p.m. So 10, oh, 10 p.m. show. This is the latest show I've ever done. It's so the latest I'm show excited. I've ever done. Yeah. <laughs> Red Bull that day. Yeah, yeah I'm going to definitely take a nap when I come home. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> well thank you so much uh very exciting to meet you and I, I really love what you're doing this, this monologue so far so so very good work thank you so much for having me